Hello everybody, I'm Anna and I'm Michelle and we're the two mythical unicorns and today we're doing the Your Answer Can't Be Book book day. <laughs> I will put the link to the original down below. Yeah, this so. was difficult. <laughs> yeah, a few of them were really difficult. Yeah. <laughs> so first one, what is something that you own way too many of other than books? This is the thing, I don't necessarily have this. I have like started collect like I have CDs, I have LPs, but I have like eight or nine CDs. I have at tops fifteen LPs, so it's not like I have too much of it. No. It's like maybe the start of a collection, but yeah, no. The thing that I can say that I technically probably have too much of is coats, <laughs> because <laughs> okay, <laughs> I have like what six. They are different colors most of the time, different styles. But who needs that many coats? Me. Yeah, yeah, apparently. But yeah, otherwise I take ah, notebooks. I have a lot of but, notebooks. But those are books. I know, that's why I was like, because I was they thinking count the same how thing. technically, because yeah. they are still a book, but it's another type of. I don't know. I have many notebooks too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think this was the hardest one yeah. and I really had to think about it because yeah. lately I've sort of been trying to get rid of stuff I, yeah. I don't use. Jewelry. Oh. Hmm. I have so many earrings. <laughs> I mean, I've gotten rid of like two thirds of them, mm -hmm. but it's still like a lot. I have so many earrings <laughs> and I have earrings that I don't use and I haven't used for five years <laughs> and I'm like but maybe one day maybe one day I'll use them again yeah and I I rarely use necklaces I have like four necklaces that I actually use mm -hmm. and then I have like oh but yeah dad bought me this one when he was in Spain and oh, oh no, yeah no. I got this one from that person as a birthday gift <laughs> and then I feel bad getting rid of them yeah yeah and never use them. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also like I like in my our situations are different that way. You've been living in this apartment for five years, four, four. Yeah, something like yeah. that. You've yeah. been in the same place for yeah. quite an amount of time. Yeah, I've moved once a year yeah. since I moved from home. Yeah. So I, I can't collect no. things that way. So I've been really good with like getting rid of extra stuff. Yeah. Because I've had no choice. Number two, what is something that you do for fun that's not reading a book? I first put down filming and editing. Yeah. And I have to say it's not related to YouTube in particular. Like, yeah, it's still like a hobby and things. Yeah. But I, I film generally yeah in our lives and i do little like highlight reels <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and i've been doing that since we were like 18 19 something like that yeah. i film little bits when we're away doing things or over the summer or things like that so i guess that's yeah yeah that's it and then also obviously i edit all of our youtube stuff so yeah that sort of ends up under that category anyways. Yeah. I went with playing D&D. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean it's not something I can do by myself. I no. <laughs> I am very dependent on the rest of the party. <laughs> that, that is something that I do for fun and uh, yeah you know there's some reading and you have to yeah. level up and but it's a <sighs> game. Yeah yeah technically yeah a role-playing game yeah and as, out as you can see on my confusion, confusion, I'm not a part of this. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I've chosen not to be a part of this. I was invited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't get it wrong. <laughs> but she's like, nah. 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 <laughs> you have fun I'm, though. I'm just gonna leave now. <laughs> <laughs> it literally happened once. Everyone arrived and I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have fun. We have had people in our lives questioning if we are attached to the hip. <laughs> no. No, we're not. Because I play D and D and do you don't. Exactly. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the one thing. Me being married has nothing to do with it. Nah. Nah. <laughs> what is something special or important on your nightstand that's not a book? I don't have room for many other things outside of my stack of books. <laughs> I literally have like eight books on it. The the one thing that I always have on my nightstand is a little like trinket dish so that like, I can take off my like jewelry and always have it in the same place. Yeah. Because it really bothers me when it's like everywhere and there's no particular place. So I always have a little trinket dish where I can put down my rings and earrings and things. And that's essentially all that is that there's no room for anything else. I have my iPad. <laughs> Because I need sound when I go to sleep, so I put on like Netflix or something on my iPad. I always have that. Yeah. And if I don't, I have my phone instead. Yeah. Because uh, sometimes I don't know where I, what I've done with my iPad and I can't find it. Or just I'm out of battery or something. In general, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's my iPad. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Number four. What's something that you buy at a bookstore other than books? It depends on the bookstore. Yeah. First of all, like the normal one, like Academy book kind of there. Possibly like birthday cards and things because they usually have like quite a nice collection, which is nice. Otherwise, mostly like school stuff, honestly, like notebooks and pens and things. But if we're talking about like the sci-fi bookstore, yeah. It's often like fan merchandise, whether it's like Harry Potter or Studio Ghibli or anything else, really. Mugs, anything. A puzzle. There's board games. There's loads of things in that particular bookstore, so anything really. My keyring that you bought me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a little niffler, which is cute. Yeah, loads of things, really. If we're talking about uh, like ordinary books day, bookstore, mm. I would say puzzles. Yeah, <laughs> I do enjoy puzzles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if we're talking like sci-fi bookstore, yeah, then D and D supplies. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. I have three sets of dice. Is that necessary? Or yes, yes, it is very necessary. Because <laughs> with the different colors. <laughs> no, no. Because when you level up and you do a spell. Uh -huh. And you do four d tens of right. damage. Then you need four. You need dice. more dice yeah. than you have in your original pack. Yeah. Cool. Because otherwise you have one of each. Which sure, it's it's fine. Like it's you can absolutely do it that way. <laughs> I really enjoy having several dice. Yeah. And uh, we when one die doesn't do well, we put it in dice jail. Fair enough. <laughs> it's not allowed to be in the game for the rest of the night. And I am not the one who started that. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I think it was Laura Bailey. <laughs> Critical role. Still, I'm not the one who started it at my table. <laughs> Still. What's a fun gift that you've received that wasn't a book or a gift card for books? <laughs> I mean, I most things that I get are not books or even a book a gift card because they're like, you'll buy it anyways. It doesn't matter. But a fun gift. I got uh, a personalized mug from Ats. Yeah. And on one side, it, it's a little letter and it says uh, it's uh, still waiting because it's a Harry Potter mug. And on the other side, it's the letter, but with my, well, if not name, it's his nickname for me. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so it says Mickey on it, but it's still, it's a Harry Potter mug that's personalized and it's mine. Yes. And I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> I do get a lot of books because I put them on my wish list mm. and then uh, <laughs> sometimes I get them. It took me like three years before I got the uh, Harry Potter <laughs> illustrator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I got it. <laughs> Those I've gotten. <laughs> and I'm so happy. Yeah. <laughs> I would say, because these days I really <laughs> wish for stuff that are fun. Fun. Yeah, that's what I was like. Um, I, I wish <laughs> um, for useful things. Yeah. Gift card for a spa. Oh, got yeah. That as a wedding gift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah very nice. Yeah. I haven't used it yet, but I will. Yeah. Or we will. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Alex is involved in that. <laughs> that's very nice. Yes. That's very nice. I do enjoy going to the spa. <laughs> Relaxing. <laughs> 
what's a YouTube channel that oh. you watch that's not related to books? I watch a lot of YouTube actually, but what's yeah. funny is that the first thing that came into my head was like Vlogbrothers and then I was like, they're both authors though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they do not, they rarely talk about books. Yeah, so Vlogbrothers, Dan and Phil, like Korean Englishmen, Gabby Cook. I watch a lot of YouTube. Yeah. Sorted food. Yeah, that was the one I was gonna go with too. <laughs> Sorted food. Mm -hmm. Taskmaster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a TV show, that's but I watch the clips on, on YouTube. <laughs> Sophia Nygaard. Mm. Yeah, I I do a lot of YouTube watching YouTube as well. Yeah, but I yeah I watch a lot of like YouTube like book content. Yeah. So yeah, I was like um, and then I was like Vlog Brothers, and then I was like. They're authors, though. <laughs> so there's a couple. Yep. <laughs> that was it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye. Bye. Woohoo! Woohoo! We've done it. Yay! <laughs>